I'm just going to come right in here. You can just bring in a little of this Indian yellow, making little, little crisscross strokes. I'm going to do some happy little grass. Are y'all doing crisscross strokes over here? <laughs> what do you say? Happy we accidents. don't make mistakes, we just have happy accidents. <laughs> Looking good. Good afternoon, y'all. We've got some happy accidents and happy little trees going on. <laughs> got some little crafts for the kids to do. Jonah and Cece are working on their little fall painting right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get supper in the oven. It's a little bit after three. I'm gonna make sheet pan pork chops and vegetables, but I'm gonna use two sheet pans because we won't have enough room on one for all the pork chops and everything. So I'm gonna do the vegetables on one sheet pan, pork chops on another one. I'm getting my carrots washed up real quick. And we have these tiny little baby potatoes. There's a lot of purple ones in here. We say purple. I'm not sure if they call them blue or purple, but there's a lot of those in there. Those are my favorite. So we're gonna cook those and the carrots on one pan. Now I'm out of aluminum foil, but if I had some, I would totally line these pans with some foil. For the carrots, we're just gonna cut them in half like that. And then I'm gonna just cut some little pieces. That's it. We're gonna drizzle some olive oil over them, salt and pepper on them, and they're going in the oven, which I need to preheat to 375. We are gonna cut the little potatoes in half too. Whenever I get this in the oven, me and Manly are gonna go out on the back porch. He's gonna do his little painting, and I have a wooden crate that I wanna stain. If we have some stain down in the shed, I think we do. I wanna stain it and use it as like a little pumpkin basket for the back porch, or maybe the front porch. I haven't decided yet which one, but we'll see once we get it done where we wanna put it. I'm pretty sure we have some leftover stain down there. I know we have some paint, but I didn't really wanna paint it. I just wanted to stain it. Daddy's home. Look how pretty they are. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil. Just gonna drizzle it all over the top of them. And salt and pepper. We're gonna use our peppercorn, pepper, and the Himalayan pink salt. So this stuff's going in the oven. I'm also gonna make green beans. Of course, we'll do those on the stove top, but that's what we're gonna have with it. Oh, I see. You gotta do the teal. These are pretty fall colors, too. Oh, yeah. The carrots and the you got purple. purple. You got purple. Yeah, look at them. Aren't they pretty? We'll wait for the oven to preheat to put that in. We'll get the pork chops ready. We'll bring over the extra well-loved pan for these. And for this, I'm gonna spray the pan first. Well, I said I was gonna be able to fit all these pork chops on here. Yeah, I think I can. We'll We'll squeeze them in. We're going with some olive oil. I'm gonna use my little brush to kind of brush this on to these. Now, for the pork chops, I think we will go with Auntie. We're gonna put these in for 20 minutes. Then I'll flip them and I'll put some more seasoning on that side. And then they'll go back in for probably I think they'll just take about 10 more minutes, maybe 15. We'll just keep a check on them. But I'm not gonna put these in right yet because the potatoes and carrots are gonna take a little bit longer. We'll let those cook for about 20 minutes and then we'll put the pork chops in. Alan's Italian. We have two cans of the, do they call this family size? No, they just call it 38 ounce. <laughs> We're gonna be making them like Mandy. Y'all know it. I'll link her video down below. <laughs> So you can get this recipe. Somebody told me about another green bean recipe that we should try. I gotta start writing these things down. Is that one having a baby? Yeah. She is? Yeah. Will she have the baby while we have her? I don't know, I mean. Uh, I'm gonna that would them. be fun. That would be fun. I'm gonna kick them out on the. I already did. I kicked them out over there on that. No, kick them out and cow talk is nice, y'all. That ain't mean. Oh, it ain't mean. He did not kick them out. 
What I'm saying is I put them out you put them plenty in. of grass. When you release livestock from the trailer, you say you kick, kick them, them out. out. A lot of times. <laughs> but I mean, not everybody don't say that, but that's what we say a lot of us guys around here. But I'll buy these calves sometimes from sale barn. Different people will sell them to me, whatever the case may be. Most of the time, they're going to be really uh, bad wormy. A lot of them have pneumonia. I take those cattle and uh, I get the medication and stuff that I need from some veterinarians and then I give it to them and straighten them out, get them turned around, what we call turning them around. Once they look really good, then we'll sell them to some farms that, like that Jersey cow right there, she's bred back. Some farmer will probably buy her, just, you know, use her as a, as a brood cow. That means but, she's uh, having a baby. Yeah. Some people might not know. Right, I understand. Yeah, there's some people that don't know. So anyway, that's what we do. Uh, and then calves I, I buy, a lot of them will be really bad sick. I mean, as you know, you can see on the... We used to get bottle calves. Some of y'all probably remember. Yeah. When we used to get bottle calves a good bit. Right. A lot of people may not know, but I rode pens in Texas. So I was a, a cattle manager out there on the feedlot, Cargill feedlot. So that's the reason I can take those cattle and you know, straighten them out, turn them around, and get them well, and we are able to sell them and make a little bit of profit on each one. Sometimes I sell them at the sale barn, sometimes I sell them to different farms. I got one guy in Tennessee sometimes that'll call me and buy some. Last night we had an outstanding event go down. We were in here watching an African safari documentary thing, me and Titus, just minding our own business, minding our very own business over there. Just oh like we God. always do. I tell you what, I want to encourage the rest of the world to and do that. The bat was looking at daddy and mom. There was a bat. The, another bat, y'all. We got a lot of bats up oh. in these mountains. Anywhere around here, if you're out at nightfall, you'll see bats flying around. So you better close your door. <sighs> yeah. I want to come in. Well, anyway, he came in. And I hit him and like see, he got hit it, with a baseball if bat. If it is not quite, if it, if you have lights on, they're not going to come out yet. So we had all the lights on in here, you know, the rest of the evening. Well, when the there? kids went to bed, I remember. Now it's like playing back in my head. And then this bat, y'all, it flew right past our heads. And so then I start screaming she like crazy. She up screaming. Uh, <laughs> down on her knees screaming. When I'm talking about she was down here. <laughs> you was actually over here in this position one time squatted. Little. And I was laughing. I go get the broom. That joker, I mean, I was, I, I did the Barney you know. run, I think. Y'all see Barney, like, when he gets down on his knees and he was running like that because it kept flying at our heads. Now, that joker was coming at me. Oh. I'm going to be honest with you. He better... It was coming right at our heads. Yeah, when I grabbed that broom, I'm going to First, he had one of the pillows on the couch. I was trying my best to hit that joker with. But anyway, he came at me, buddy, when he did. I'm talking about right in the strike zone. I knocked his light slap out. Yeah. Here's the part and of I'm the talking room. about. Here's a part of the here's broom. Here's a part of the broom. When I say I hit him, I hit him, boys. I mean, I sent him south, but I don't I'm believe sorry them go. I'm love bats. I do appreciate I don't if they, they go will, up. If they, they would eat whiskey. <laughs> Usually they try to get away. That one was actually coming. Right. It was like an attack mode or I something. I mean, I was kind of getting surprised at it myself. I was laughing. Wingspan? I was sitting there laughing. Wingspan? Was it like this, or was that just me imagining? He's about wingspan and all, about big as my hand. <laughs> Yeah, I can see somebody now if Alan said, we have one of them bats in here that was, you know, one of them kind, one of them fruit bats. Yeah, they kept leaving the doors open when we were decorating our fall thing last night. Yeah. And that bat got in here. Are you on a taste of green beans? Yeah. I'm okay. Fixing to go in for the green bean deal here. Power beans. Did I, hey, I made the tea during all that. Don't y'all love when you do something and you're listening to other stuff or whatever and you forget that you did it? Look at that. I'm done. That's looking good. What are you painting a picture of? A uh, circle. Oh, a circle? That's good. No, violet. Violet? Mm-hmm. Oh. Blue. Green. Blue. I should have blow my bubble gum out here with me. Turns out we didn't have any stain down there, but we do have some paint left over from where Titus painted the cow trailer and it's brown so we're gonna use that the problem with paint is we're gonna have to wait a long time for this to dry now stain would dry you know really quick but this probably won't be dry until tomorrow so we'll have to wait to put our pumpkins and stuff in it